Hey Plan Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. If you are not new here, thank you for coming back. So today I have a video for you that I've done before on my channel and I wanted to do again because it is plants that I'm struggling with right now and I think it's important to talk about this stuff so you guys can see that it's not always rainbows and sunshine and that all of my plants don't look healthy all of the time and that I do still struggle with plants and that I do still kill plants and I do still do dumb things like overwater or underwater my plants. <laughs> so I also wanted to give you an update on a plant that was in a previous video. Most of the other ones are no longer with us, but I did want to show you how that one is doing. So first on my list today is a Hoya that I'm really sad to say is not doing well. This is the Hoya Iris Marie, and this was from a friend of mine, and I don't know what her issue is. So it was sent to me in a cocoa mix and you guys know that I don't do well with cocoa mixes. It just dries up way too quickly for me and I can't keep up with watering it. So I transferred it over to my regular degular chunky soil mix that I always use for my Hoyas and I put it into like its little clear container into its terracotta the same I do with all of the Hoyas and it has just honestly continued to decline since then. Like this vine here is probably just gonna completely die off. It had one here that died off and the leaves just look really flimsy. So this is one of those Hoyas that almost looks more like a foliage plant, kind of like the Multiflora. The leaves are very, very thin and not waxy the way that most Hoyas are. So I don't really know. I don't really know why this plant is mad at me, but I'm hoping that it bounces back. It looks like maybe this vine might be okay. It's got like some new little baby leaves coming out of the top. So maybe it is just adjusting to its new home. I hope, but if you have this Hoya in your collection and you have any care tips, please do share them in the comment section below. So. I do have another Hoya here that is on the struggle bus as well. And that is my Hoya Australis Lisa. <laughs> you guys, I've struggled with this plant like the whole time that I've had it. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was infested with mealybugs. I must have treated it a thousand times and I think I finally killed all the mealybugs, but I think I also killed the plant in the process. It was a very full lush plant. You can see all of these bare stems in here. It's just kind of slowly died back. I honestly think what might have happened was there was too much water in here. I probably just threw a bunch of water at it and didn't check to see if there was too much in there. And it's probably why there's roots coming out of the bottom of the pot because they were looking for the water. So this is my fault. I take a full responsibility. It does look like I overwatered this plant somehow, which is insane to me because I usually underwater my Hoyas, but I have hope because I think that we should be able to propagate this piece and this piece. The rest of them probably not going to come back, <laughs> but it is a pretty easy Hoya to propagate, so I'm not really too worried about it so stay tuned for updates on this one hopefully we can um start her over because she does still have this one uh or two good pieces of plant in here so i don't think the trellis is necessary anymore considering the vines that were on it are dead <laughs> so there's that next plant on my list of plants that are on the struggle bus headed straight towards struggle city would be this begonia amphioxus so this one was a gift from my friend morgan and it isn't like a mossy like cocoa perlite kind of mix so i'm thinking that i need to get in there and check out the roots because it looks thirsty but it's wet like i water it pretty regularly it lives on the shelf like right here so i see it every day and I can water it every day if I need to. So I don't really know what's going on, but hopefully we can salvage some of this plant. 
I mean, it's a begonia, so like usually it'll it'll grow new leaves out of any node that it possibly can, but I'm really sad because this is such a weirdo. I know this is a really common terrarium plant, so it might be happier if I put it into like something else. I don't really know. It lives literally right next to the humidifier, so like I don't know what it wants from me, so there is that. Next on the list is another gift from my friend Morgan, and it is this um, Stefania erecta. It had leaves, but they fell off. Um, it doesn't have any roots. I don't really know how I'm supposed to root it. I just kind of leave it in this like mossy mix and like keep it moist. It's a potato. Right, it just looks like a potato. I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. So if you have any care tips, that would be great. I would really appreciate it. It does look like it wants to grow some new little leaves from the top there. I don't know if it's normal for this plant to just like go dormant when it's cold, but um, yeah, it just looks like a potato in a pot. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong and um, any help would be appreciated. The next plant on my list of plants that are struggling right now is this uh, pitcher plant. It doesn't look good, I know. But it is just this one plant in here that died back and the rest of them are fine. So it's actually growing. This one is putting out new leaves. Um, there's another one over here on the bottom putting out new leaves as well. So there's like four-ish plants in here. It's just this one with the pitchers died and it's because I didn't water it enough. And the reason why I didn't water it enough is because it's a hanging plant and it's got all these holes at the bottom. So the water just comes right out of the bottom of the pot. It doesn't really hold on to any and um, it's hard to water a hanging plant every day that's up in the greenhouse. So I don't want to go up there and take it down every day. So I bought this and my plan is to stick it in here like this and put little holes here and wire and a hook so that this plastic container can hang off of the nursery pot and I can keep water in here because this is a bog plant and it is going to do much better if you keep it in water. So there's that. So the last plant on my list today is one that I wanted to give you an update on and it is my Hamalamina, Homolamina, I don't know how you're supposed to say it, Selby. So I did feature this one in a video, I don't know how long ago, but um, she's been on the show of us for quite some time and the reason why is because she's thirsty as hell and in the process of moving, she missed a watering and literally all of her leaves went completely crispy and I have not been able to get her to get herself together since then and it has been months you guys months she just keeps coming in with these like really funky leaves that aren't unfurling right they come in like immediately get crispy I don't really know what she wants even this one here this was a new leaf that just shriveled up into nothing and uh, I had a lot of hope for her. I really thought she was going to be okay, but um, I genuinely don't know. So now I'm thinking that I need to get in there and take a look at her roots and see what's going on beneath the surface because these leaves are just not cute. They are not cute. Not cute at all. So that is it for this video. So if you enjoyed this video, you should give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There is a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. If not, there is a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. I cannot do this without you guys. And, um, yeah, stay tuned for updates on these plants. Hopefully, they're all going to be okay. They're not, like terrible I don't know but I have mentioned other plants in the past like my fiddle leaf fig and that one died I had a begonia that I showed you guys and that one died as well <laughs> so this is really the only one that I have to show you that isn't dead that was on the struggle bus before so it's still on the struggle bus but um 
it's alive. So that counts for something, right? Anyway, I appreciate you, fam. Let me know in the comments below if you have any of these plants in your collection, if you struggle with any of these plants, what plants are you struggling with right now? And um, that's it. Any words of encouragement would be fine with me too. <laughs> but I appreciate you, fam. I love you so, so very much. And I hope I see you in the next one.